Okay, today I am going to show you how to make a successful and good chicken coop. As you see, I have around 75 chickens in here. Well, they're mostly up in the outdoor pen right now. But you will need to collect the eggs every day and you will need to make a few nesting areas like you put dirt in the bottom and you put some grass they enjoy those you have to put some pools of water <laughs> um, depending on how many chickens you have for 75 I have three of them So basically, one for every 25 chickens seems like nothing, but you know, you don't need too many. So I'm going to plant some grass here because recently this flooded and the grass got all washed out. So, let's see, you will always need to have an outdoor pen with stairs probably leading up to it. Um, this is underground under my house, the indoor area, and then it might be difficult to get up here sometimes. I'll probably have to make this wider eventually. See, yeah, this is where most of my chickens are. Um, outdoor shelters, you'll want to build a shelter for these because you know especially the chickens they're pretty stupid so you might want to have a shelter for the rain um this doesn't have to be too big the outdoor yard just make it um let's see probably five by ten so, an area of 50, including the pool. Yeah. Um, so, usually I put the indoor area underground and then put stairs up from that to the outdoor yard. And remember to collect the eggs every day. And um, you'll have to expand a couple times. I mean... If you're putting new chicks in, you will have to expand probably every time you put new chicks in there. I don't really do that. See, like, I made this into an ocelot area. It doesn't like breeding the ocelots. It, but usually what I will do is make a little hut and then make a hole in the floor that leads into the main chicken coop so I would put the pen right next to the chicken coop so yeah so you have to have a hole at the end of it leading down into the main chicken coop um, I'll explain that in another video how to make a hatching coop so thank you for watching this video and I will explain the pen in a separate video.